time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, July 9th. Hope everybody's doing good today. Of course, it wouldn't be a day without seeing the SPX and NDX hit new all-time highs. NDX hit 20,543 this morning. SPX hit 5590. S&P is currently up about 7. Same with the NASDAQ. Russell down 7. Dow down 45. Gold and silver, both a little bit green. Notes and bonds, a little bit red. 10-year yield up almost 1%. Oil down 1%. Natty gas down about three quarters. Soybeans down 2%. Corn and wheat, a little bit green. Euro and the pound, a little bit red. Bitcoin up 2.5%. VIX holding a little bit of a bid. Up a little over 1%, sitting at 1254 uh, Chad, I'll let you go first. I got a, I did a bunch of transformations today, so I'll talk about those here in a minute. All right. Well, it's been a pretty calm day here with the low premiums. So, um, I let my one DTE cook. I skipped the 25% profit target due to the lack of price movement and, uh, ended up closing half here just a little bit ago, 40%. And my AM number one. Um, I just book 80% on it. So 20, 40, 60, 80 and out. And I just put on power hour number one, um, the 5580 straddle. So that is where I'm at today. 5580 straddle. Yes, sir. All righty. So I, uh, I elected to not really book any profits on my uh, zero DTEs or my one DTE. I went ahead and just transformed everything. So here's where I sit. Well, let's just do this. I'm just going to, so for today's expiration, just give you the, I've been posting in the transformer chat on some of these. Some of these are things I'll be talking about in an upcoming class. So I'm not posting as I go yet. But um, here is all of today's expirations. And this is over a couple different accounts too. So it's not. So here's. Here's everything that expires today. I don't know what you call that thing. I hope we crash though. Sorry for you all who are in. Delta neutral. Um, but if we stay right here, I will make a whopping 300 bucks. But if we can get down below, could book some more. Or if we make a big push up, that would work as well. Uh, I've got quite a few things on tomorrow's expiration as well. Which would be... Sure, I got all my July 10th checked here. Oh, there's a couple more. All right, so here is my <clears throat> what I've got for tomorrow. So I need to push below 70 or a push above 95, 50, 5,600 essentially. And then I've got. This is actually on the 15th. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> A couple of risk-free condors. Uh, and then let's see on the 11th. 
This is just my two DTE from today. I turned into a risk-free vertical in both directions. So if we can get a 40 point move between now and the end of Thursday, which we've got CPI Thursday morning, <clears throat> it'll break out of this Valley. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so that's it for SPX. And then I've got a bunch of stuff in NDX as well. So for today's expiration, In NDX, I've got this. Oh, wait, no, that's the 11th. So minus that one. So I've got this. So I do have some risk to the upside if we were to, to rip back up to new all-time highs, but I, uh, I'm betting that we don't. And so... Stays right here. I'll make about 860 if we can push down. That's where the profits get a little bit bigger. Uh, I do have one in rut as well. This is for tomorrow. Just a uh, risk-free condor and a butterfly. So that's what I've got going. I'm actually looking for a little down move to the expected move. Would be beautiful for me. 10 points lower in SPX. Could happen. So as I talked about in my July plan, the, the idea for July primarily was to, you know, put on my zero, one, two DTE trades and then book profits on some of it and then transform some of it. But today I just felt like transforming it all. So I didn't, uh, I didn't take any partial profits. We are sitting at lows of day, which we've tested this area. One, two, three, four, kind of four or five-ish. This will be the sixth time. So is it going to hold or are we going to break? NASDAQ pushed yeah, it all the way. It kind of feels heavy. All, it does feel heavy. That's kind of why I've kind of started leaning things bearish. NASDAQ pushed down to its lower expected move before bouncing. SPX has not gone negative all day. It's still up about five points. Russell is red, Dow is red, NASDAQ is basically sitting on unchanged. Yeah, I I, uh, I grew out the old goatee here recently. It's a little bit whiter and grayer than I remember last time I grew it out. By the way, that, that Option Omega thing was really just a, uh, I'm doing a Magic Mahomes class for them next week. So it was just kind of a, a little intro. I guess I think thing. I've ever seen so it. You guys didn't miss, you guys didn't miss anything. I do have a. Uh, it's been a while since you've had it that big. What's that? It's been a while since it's been that big. Go team. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's probably been. I don't think I've. I think I've stayed pretty clean shaven for the last six years, maybe. Um, I do have a couple of my rut hedges on. One that expires today needs a little bit of a down move to get out of the valley. One that expires tomorrow is pretty much centered, a little bit of decay. SPX, NDX bouncing back up off the lows, or SPX is at lows.
VIX has had about a 30 cent range all day. My gold strangle is still not quite to profit target. Been wanting to add a duck for the last um, couple of weeks, but we just keep going up. So I have not jumped in one. Yeah, I probably, <clears throat> well, the reason I transformed everything is because of the all the Fed speaking. Yellen and um, Powell were speaking, and then one other one was speaking too. So I, that's, that's the primary reason that I just kind of transformed everything because I thought I'll just take the risk off now in case this thing starts moving. Um, and then... For my two DTE, I transformed that whole thing just because we've got CPI on Thursday. So I figured might as well just put on some risk-free, basically a risk-free Rick for Thursday. Um, and then the one DTE, what do we have tomorrow? Oh, Powell's on the on the stand again. So not sure that'll move anything, but. So tomorrow, Powell starts speaking again, same time, 30 minutes after the market opens. There is a 10-year bond auction at noon that shows medium impact. And then in the afternoon, Bowman and Goolsby. Bowman, back to back. Bowman spoke today and tomorrow. And then Thursday, pre-market CPI, Friday, pre-market PPI. In the day trading chat. What was that? Did you say something to me, Chad? <laughs> Chad, are you there? Got a couple good continue versus this morning. Something's something's going on with your mic. Maybe I guess I'm debating myself. I'm not sure if Chad's talking to me. All right, there we go. How about now? I yeah, can hear you now. I was just telling you we got we got in a couple of good continuation runners this morning. Yeah, we got a good couple of good continuation runners in uh, Tesla and Nvidia. Nice. Yeah, Tesla. Tesla is kind of in beast mode. Parabolic from 180 to 260. Yeah, I watched Billions. Billions is good. I kind of faded off of it once they got to about, I don't know, season six or something like that. Started to get a little, yeah. I've been watching lately. Have any? Is it, have any of you guys watched um, Your Honor? I guess it was. It looked like it looks like it was originally on Showtime, but it's on Netflix now. So I just I've been watching it on Netflix, but it's pretty good. The uh, the main character is the guy from Breaking Bad, Walter White, whatever his real name is. Yeah, I agree, Dark Avenger. After Damian Lewis left, kind of went downhill from there. Yeah, Brian Cranston.
I'm looking forward to what this new series. It's, uh, well, it's not new, but there's another another season coming out on Netflix, uh, July 18th. You know what that is? July 18th. No. Cobra Kai. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was good. I watched the couple, Karate Kid, baby. A couple seasons of that. Yeah, Suits is good, too. Oh, X comes back, huh? Okay, I may have to. I may have to jump back in. Well, here comes SPX back down to lows. So, does he come back in season six, or is he just he comes back? Starting on season seven. Okay. All right. I'm in. NVIDIA's up a little bit today. What else is up? Jumia. The Amazon of Africa. It looks like it's finally taken off. It's up 32% today. Tesla's up almost four. Baidu's up eight. What's going on with Baidu? Baba is up three. Banks are up. Amazon's up a little bit. Netflix, Meta, Apple, Goog, all up a tiny bit. On the red side, Oracle's down 3%. Riot Blockchain down three. CMG down three. Microsoft down one and a half just off of its all-time highs. You know, my today's expirations checked. All right, I'm in the 75 straddle. Power hour number two. So I'm in the 75 and 80 straddle. Dead centered.
Put on a uh, one, two, and a one, three this morning. Both of those are down about 4%. My two, four from yesterday is up about 4%. My five, seven is up about 8%. What about the boys? Who's watching the boys on Amazon? <laughs> it tell it's gonna tell me a lot about who you are if you watch the boys. Who's in? Who's in on the boys? Not me. Anyone? Never heard of it? Me either. Oh, no. no, it's a big it's a Amazon original. I tell you what. Watch episode season one, episode one. And you'll either be all in or all out immediately. <laughs> Don't watch it with your wife or children. What about House of the Dragon? Is that the is that the new version of uh the season two of the prequel to Game of Thrones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I have not. Landon was talking about that. Oh my god, it's so awesome. Unbelievable. They had they had this dragon fight scene last episode, the last twenty minutes. It was crazy. There you go, Kelvin. Now you don't have to watch it. <laughs> it's good. I'm just telling you, it's good. So tomorrow I will not be here for power hour. Chad will be running the show. It's my last baseball tournament of the year. Thank goodness. It's my last tournament as a coach. Thank goodness. Sure. I'll miss it one day, but I'll be glad to be done. But we, we have a game scheduled at 2 40 PM on Wednesday. How about that for scheduling? Yeah, we uh, were supposed to be done this past weekend, and they picked up this new one, and it actually starts Thursday, um, 10 a.m. and uh, noon, I think, Thursday. But I, Stone Stone's not going to go to the first game because he's got football practice, and, and right now it's football or baseball. Uh, and then Friday, I think, like noon and 2 on Friday. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh my gosh, darn it. Yeah, I didn't even I didn't even want him to play in this tournament. It was one they just added right at the very end. They kind of voted on it. Luga, is your you think your wife's gonna use the second monitor? What's the debate here? Oh. <laughs> Oh, because she'll be with you. I got you. I got you. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> just sneak it in there. <laughs> sneak, sneak it in your suitcase and just pop it out in the hotel. Just see what she says then. Better to ask for forgiveness, right? All right, you hitting 20% yet? I need you guys to get your 20% before we crash. Not yet. So Ed, you use your iPad, not for your, not for the trading platform, just for, for something else. You'd have to use the, basically their iPad app, right? For task, just kind of like the mobile app. Oh, okay. I've never done that. It's good to know. Oh, wow. That is great information. Cause I, I still, I still use a, a Mac for my, well, I have my desk, desktop Mac as a secondary computer, but then my laptop is a Mac. Just does not want to break that 5575, does it? Yeah, these straddles hold their premium, man. You know, one thing I do remember doing that I, I haven't done in a long, long time, mostly because the VIX hasn't been so low and premiums so low, but I know I, in paper trading, of course, it's been a long time ago now, but I do remember doing some inverted iron condors when there was minimal price movement like we're seeing the last couple of days with low premium. Yeah. I haven't. I was considering looking at it today instead of the straddle, but did not. You know, it's the profit and the risk is, I don't know if the risk is worth the profit, but 
Yeah, you, you get a little bit wider. I do but remember doing it? Less, uh, less favorable risk reward. Yeah, I do remember doing it. Let's see what the old at the money flies trading at. Seventy five butterflies at about a dollar fifty, dollar sixty. Probably closer to a dollar fifty five. Did anybody get in a Wooga? Was it over four bucks? Looks like it was Elliot over got in one. Did he say it was, yeah, it was, I saw it at like 440. Um, oh, with probably 10 minutes until time to enter. Okay. So. Okay. I don't creeping down towards 75 new lows of day. Yeah, my. My 80 straddles taking some heat. It's still. Still holding on, though, it's not. Not much in the red, it's about break even. I should be getting close to 20% on my 75 straddle. I'm still 70 cents away. Jeez. NDX just went into the red. SPX is the only green ones at this moment. I mean, SPX hasn't even sniffed the expected move. I have it marked at 56.03. We got a high of 55.90. So 13 points away to the upside. <clears throat> On the lower end, I have it marked at 55.64. And we're about 11 points above it currently. Hey, Alberto, do me a favor, post in the Zero Live Chat channel in Discord. We don't usually check the uh, Zoom chat. I think it's a question for you, though, Chad. On the straddles, when you take profit, you close the longs too, correct? Incorrect. All the TLC trades, doesn't matter when it is, it's just the shorts. Longs become worthless pretty quick during power hour. Yeah, so especially in power hour, you're typically buying five cent wings. So those are going to be basically worthless immediately. And then earlier in the day, um, Chad, you can talk about how you do it. But, you know, sometimes I will just close them out. Or if I want to hold them for a potential bigger move, I might leave some on because um, then they can increase in value if you get a big outsized move. Uh, but usually just, you know, managing the shorts and then deciding what you want to do with the longs. If they have value, you can close them or leave them. Uh, if they don't, they're obviously just going to expire worthless. Yeah, yesterday I closed some of them because they were like 10 cents and the price movement was so muted. Today was similar, except for, you know, I only put on one, tr one trade yesterday. I think I had two AM trades 
So today they were, it was, you know, noon or something. And they were already, one was 10 cents. One was five cents and the trade was still on. So I just uh, let them, they were just expired worthless. I didn't even close them out today. I left them on They're They're nothing now. So it just kind of depends on what the day is doing. Um, but more times than not, I, I like to leave them on just in case there is a a big move. Oh, SPX trying to trying to bounce. Yeah, it's helping my power hour one straddle. We're both up about one's up about nine hundred, one's up about six hundred. One thing you don't have to worry about with price movement like it is. Well, well, I'm not even going to say it. Never mind. I won't say it. Starts with an S and rhymes with rippage. <laughs> Shrippage? Something like that. I mean, man, you look at you you look at like price action since it opened. I mean, what a beautiful day to trade zero DTE, though. Yeah, I mean, this is tr these last two days are a lot. It's reminded me a lot of like when I was starting last September. Just a lot of minimal price movement. Yeah preceding these two days the last three days before that just blew through their expected moves and closed at highs right. of day right so i'm hoping to get some more repeat days of these uh last two but it'll be interesting to see what cpi and ppi does of course that's all pre-market so you know it could it could move pre-market all at once and then sit there and just not move throughout the day i'll have to wait and see Yeah, but I, I I I can tell you this much, Moro. Um, the last several months on uh, CPI days, I've booked, I've been green in my TLC trades, Delta neutral. So, it hasn't it hasn't been so much that it's caused me to have red days. Yeah, overconfidence is is a real thing, man. There's no doubt about that. I mean, I was definitely feeling that in February of this year and after coming off a big January. You definitely have to be focused and careful and strategic every day regardless of what happened the previous days and months. You already had in mind what you're spending the money on, didn't you, Ed? 
you already you already had the money spent in your mind. If I just do this for five more weeks compounded, I can buy that new house I've been thinking about. I mean, I've never thought like that, but I, I know a, f a friend of mine told me he did once. Yeah, you know, I haven't made any really big purchases with anything that I've made from 2024. <laughs> The two boys are gonna be in college before you know, before I know it. Twenty nine minutes to go. Seventy five butterfly trading for a dollar fifty still. I'm going to have to go verticals and butterfly on the call side today because my puts are taken. How, how uh, far up are you on that Wooga there, Wooga? That, that 5580. Only 5%, huh? It's holding it. Wow. We're going oh, yeah. in the 80, 80 straddle, a, I think. Uh, it's a straddle, though. Elliot was in the 7580s. I think his is better. Yeah. These butterflies are staying cheap as well. Seventy-five straddles about fifty cents away from hitting no, forty cents away from hitting twenty percent. Yeah, I was close to doing the 220 Wooga as well, but didn't. There's a 220 Wooga now? Yeah, he posted it yesterday. Oh, man. I missed it. Uh, for, us, for us, it'd be 120, you know. I looked at it today. Anyone has the link handy? It was in yesterday's chat. He posted it. Okay. Missed the back it. test. You got to be careful with discount. Wuga's elusive. He he moves around a little bit. Well, it, it came from me yesterday because I, I had uh, got into one about that time. And then so he did a back test on it. I was looking more at premiums than anything. Is it everything the same, just different entry time? Yeah, pretty much.
Yeah, man, I can't believe you haven't hit anything on your 75s or 80s. My 75s, I'm, I'm 15 cents away. And my 80s, I'm about 50 cents away. So I'm getting close on both of them. There's 20% on the 80s. Sweet. here's dan d here's the one i just took my regular wooga and changed the time on it to 220 The 80 butterfly trading for a buck 60. Yeah, that's a good looking 220 Wuga. I mean, Getting close to 20% on the 75 straddle. If we can just hold there. Twenty minutes to go.
Yeah, we had a big, big MOC number yesterday. Didn't move enough. Didn't quite move enough for my vertical to get filled. I know some of y'all did. Let's just push up. You gotta be getting close to profit target on the Wuga. Back up close to 80. Yeah, these straddles hold their premium, that's for sure. They sure are, man. These butterflies are still only at a buck fifty right at the strike. My uh 75 straddle now, now needs a little bit of the down movement. It's a quick fade of decay. It gets to where one of these is really off centered. I may just close it here at uh, 15 minutes ahead of time. Because I don't like being in the straddles past 245 Central. I'd like to hit 20% before I do that, but still a buck away from it in my 75 straddle. There we go. There was some faded decay. I won't be doing an unbalanced condor after the bell. The premiums are just too, too low, too tight. There's no room between the strikes to be able to transform. Job there, people's man. I should be getting hit on my 75 straddle any second now for 20%. There it is. So 20% on both. Put in a 75 butterfly for two bucks.
Elliot's so booga hit 50. Nice. Uh yeah, Eric D, I never I never hold the one DTE or the two DTE overnight. I trade it like a zero DTE. So I put it on in the in the morning and then take it off by end of day. If it hasn't hit profit target. At the MOC in three minutes. Trying to get out of my 75 straddle. Want to push up anymore? Build at 480 to close my. Remainder of my 75. So that's just a little over 20% profit. Right in between 75 and 80 for the Mahomes. Can't use my templates because I've my put side is taken, so I gotta use all calls. So I got to figure out which one. Need about 30 cents for my 80 straddle, and I'll close it all at 40% profit. MOC number 54 million buy side. So pretty small. I've got an order in on the 80 fly. Looks like it's trading for about a dollar eighty. Hmm. 
Manfield at 390 for 40% and out. With my power hour number one. Getting close to two bucks. Needs to stay right at 80 for a minute. Come on. Eight minutes to go. Wow, what a day. What a last two days. We get a little tick back up towards 80. It should fill. Yesterday, my TLC trades were 5,960. Today, they were 5,950. Nice. Eighty nine hundred total, including the one DTE. Build on the eighties at two bucks. All right, move away from 80. Got five minutes. Keep on pushing. Keep on dropping. Mm. 
a little bit more, a little below 75. Close. Another little push lower. We got three and a half minutes. Got down to seventy five point oh three. Not quite enough. Need to stay below 77 to be profitable. No need to bounce. No need to bounce here, little buddy. Did anyone get filled on that on that little drop down towards 75 on their verticals? Less than two minutes. Just did not want to break below 75 today. Now we're heading back to 80 with a little over a minute to go. Covering right at break even. Come on down. Partial fill. I got filled on two of 20. Come on, hit it. Hit it again. It's coming. Oh, stay down. Wow. Menace got filled. Yeah, I got filled on two of my 20 contracts. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Ding, ding, ding. 5577.05. So. And my two straddles would have been perfect. Essentially, I got a another scratch, basically. Looks like, uh, oh, well, actually, let's do this. So I used all call side. So yeah, tiny, tiny, tiny profit. 
maybe 128 bucks ish. All right. Uh, MNS, was that a credit spread or debit spread? Yeah, it, it sure is seeming like the credit spreads feel quicker. So I, mean, I couldn't do anything today about it, but because I had to use the whole, all the, all on the call side. All right, my friends. So tomorrow, Chad will be streaming live in the AM. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Yeah. And then we'll be back for power hour. Take care. Have a good night. Cheers.